G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm working on a project at the moment and I've got to machine this recess to be a perfectly snug fit on that spigot there on my tool post. Look at that, perfect. No slot whatsoever. Now, I know people have trouble doing this and most of the time they try and do it by taking measurements they'll measure the outside of the spigot and they'll try and match the outside measurement to the inside when they're machining it the trouble is when you're machining it you're using in this case the tool post you can't always check to see whether or not it's actually going to fit it might be too loose and it might be too tight. It's got to be, it's got to be just right. So, what's a good what's a, a good trick, a quick way to get this pretty much right most times? Well, rather than use measuring devices with readouts on them, what I do is what my father taught me, and he was a mechanic and did a lot of machining. You use a pair of these, use a pair of dividers, and then you trust your measurement to these things, your fingers, feel. So what you do is, if you're working on, say, a, a top slide, as in this case, whatever you're working on, if it's got something that came off that you can use as a template, as your guide, you know that's a snug fit. That came out the factory and it's a snug fit and I want to replicate that with this. So you set your dividers, internal dividers, and you put them in and you feel, you get them so they just a little bit of drag on them. You can feel it when you do it, just a little bit of drag. Okay, now that fits. So when you're doing your machining in the forge jaw and you, and you can't, in this case, pull the tool post to bits, it will take out your work because it's all centred. You put in your, your feelers and you can feel the exact same amount of pressure, drag on that. And when you get that feeling, you know you're there, you're, you're right on the money and you just, that'll be it. And I'd say, you know, <laughs> I have a 100% success rate doing it this way. But when you try and do outside measurements with inside measurements there's always going to be particularly on the inside and the number of times you go over is just ugh, it's frustrating so do this do it this way guys get some dividers use your dividers and go on feel and that will work 100% of the time if you do it right okay that's a quick tip from me hope you found it useful and uh, I'll see you next time cheers